So this is just a quick demonstration on the portal that we use to do the drone inspections. Um, this is a very, very powerful tool uh, and the reason why a lot of companies like NBN and um, at and are actually switching over uh, to this form of in inspection. It really empowers you to make informed decisions very, very quickly um, because you have all the data at your fingertips and in very you know, clear sight. Um, it also streamlines obviously a lot of your processes, reduces your, your safety risk and ultimately saving the company money. So as you'll see here what we'll do, we open up the inspection portal. On the left hand side you have all the projects so all of your towers will be listed down on the left hand side. On the right hand side here we have just the orientation of your maps and uh, volumetric calculation tools. Um, the good thing about this is everything is kept in one spot so if you ever have um, an audit or if you want to check out a specific tower all of your data relating to that tower is actually kept in uh, in the folder and that can be multiple years of information. Uh, what we also do when we do a flyover uh, with the drone it gives us these elevation uh, data as well so this is handy if uh, there was ever a flood around the tower we can see where we can maybe channel the water away you know and a bunch of other features. So what we do, we open up the inspection viewer. Now the reason why this, this portal is so powerful and, and a lot of companies are switching over to it is just for the fact that it is very, very intuitive as I said. Uh, it allows you to move around the tower as if you are physically there uh, and obviously view everything that you need to see and you know in very clear sight um, it, before this sort of technology came out it was very difficult to achieve anywhere near this type of accuracy or data from just climbing a tower so um, as you can see you can see loadings you can see what uh, assets are actually physically on that tower uh, and any spare space um, you know on the tower as well if you want to add additional dishes or antennas on there uh, so what we'll do, we'll go over here to the Beach Road Nolunga site uh, and basically we're doing exactly the same thing. Um, each of the sites will be pretty much identical in terms of the process that we run through. Uh, you'll have your overlays uh, for elevation. Uh, these elevation data can also be used for sites that you haven't built a tower on yet uh, or looking to. We could do a pre-site inspection, I guess, to see you know, the lay of the land and give you a good indication of entry and exit points and you know truck entries and things like that. So we just open up the inspection window, uh, as you can see here again, we bring up the JPEGs at the bottom, you either scroll left or right on the screen up and down to move around the tower, um, also again using your, you know, your zoom in and zoom out to be able to actually look at the tower to run your inspection, check out your asset management uh, and document what's actually physically on the tower and also any additional locations. Again, we can run these, this initial uh, inspection is probably the most crucial because it then gives you a baseline of all your data. And then all we need to do is basically do top ups probably every you know, six to eight months if you're putting you know a lot of additional um, uh, loadings actually onto these towers. If it's actually a, a physical inspection, every 12 months is, is fine. Uh, and that will keep you then compliant with any legislation and also just making sure that your assets in you know, good working order. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks for listening and um, we'll chat soon. Cheers.